Hello everybody, welcome to Peter at Bobcat Cam UK and uh, today's video I'm going to take you through uh, all feature recognition and show you uh, step by step how uh, I would generate a program using Bobcat to drill these holes. As you can see on the screen, um, I've got this um, item that I want to machine. Uh, I've also done some pre-op work, which I'm going to show you about. Um, this is the CAD model, so if I turn the CAD model off, I've also got a blank model. Um, this is the blank that I'm going to use when I generate my stock. This is my milling stock. Of course, if I go into my milling stock, right click, stock wizard, um, you can see I'm going to create a solid model and select OK then it would ask me to pick the solid model and this is the model that I want right click and select OK continue and then I've got my data in the middle which is what I'm going to use and then select OK so you can see now I've created um, the blank so if I actually turn off the blank itself um, we just turn the blank off you can see there I've got the model which is the stock that I'm going to use for the simulation. I'm going to blank the stock, so if I go into stock and blank it, which it hides it, um, and also bring the CAD model back it, back in again. Now, uh, of course, within Bobcad you have got all feature recognition, and if I went in and created a feature, uh, we did a drill all feature, and it asked me to select the model. I could actually, or select the geometry. I can actually select the geometry. Select the geometry. Right click and select OK. But you can see now it's got lots of holes and different. Well, they're all the same size there. Um, but you can see it's picking lots of things. And uh, sometimes it, that's fine. But what I want to do is I'm just going to cancel that. Show you how. Um, I produce these holes and put them on different layers. Um, if I just blank the model out, uh, we'll just come down here and blank the model off. I've got my 6 milli holes, which are all them holes, and I'll show you how I created that. And I've also got the 15.3 holes, which are the ones on the top there. So let me show you how I created them so you, you can do this yourself. Um, uh, it's just to give you an insight how I would do it in Bobcad. So as you can see I've turned on the holes I was talking about, the 15.3 uh, holes and they're the 6, the six milli holes. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select them and delete them to show you how I did it. So if I just go and select all and put them in the bin, delete them. I've now got no, nothing on the six milli holes. So if I go to six milli holes, turn off the rest, you can see I've got nothing there. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to gen I'd like to create them myself on a six milli hole. So what I'm going to do, you would have generated a new by going in, and created a new layer, and you would have created the six milli holes. Then what I'm going to do then is make that active. So anything I do will have the six milli holes uh, in there when I extract them. So I'm going to turn on the CAD model, and you can see I've got the CAD model there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on to here and extract uh, a single edge. So if I single, you can see now it highlights that surface. I'm going to left click it, right click it, select OK, and then what I'm going to do is just turn off the model. So I blank the model, and you can see now I've got the 6 mil holes. I've also got the outside diameters. Um, I don't want to project it to Z, I'm going to leave it where it is and just select OK and cancel. So what I'm going to do now is pick this outside shape that I don't want and this one and I'm going to put them in the bin. So now I've just got the 6 milli holes there. So if I go to my 6 milli holes, go over there, I'm going to turn the 15.3 holes in, turn off the 6. So you can see I've generated the six milli holes. So when it comes to all feature recognition, all I need to do is select them and nothing else. So if we go into the uh, all feature recognition, so if I go back into my cam side and I did a feature recognition, right click and drill some holes, I can select geometry and I'll only select 
all then. Right click, select OK, and you can see it's picked all the holes up for me. 6mm diameter, and I can proceed on. So this is how I would, would draw them. I would put them on different layers. So I've turned that layer off, put the 15mm holes on. So remember, I've done that so we can just see that. If I turn on, turn that off, and turn on, say, the blank, so by building yourself some layers, I've even got some engraving on there. By building your own layers, uh, you can put things on and control everything uh, a, a lot better and a lot easier. So what I'll do is just uh, turn the model back on. You can see there's the model. And you can see here, these are the geometries I've picked for different, uh, on the different la layers. There's the geometry, if I just right click it, um, reselect and then you go in and select your geometries that's what normally you'd, you'd remove it first before you you did the re reselect same for the geometry there and then what I've got is some geometry there where I did some engraving so what I'll do is um, if I went in and cancel moment if I did this feature edit the operation you can tell it I can tell it what the top of the feature is and what depth I'm actually going through next but I'm using a centre drill, drill and a chamfer mill drill as well. Next, next, this is the centre drill. This is the uh, depth, and you can see you set everything, and there's you, you set up for your, for your, uh, your chamfer drill as well. So we'll run this through simulation. So if I go into modules, simulation. see on screen now I've got uh, the blank you can see the blank uh, we'll just rewind that you can see the uh, the blank sats on there for the model uh, which I which I created uh, I'm just going to turn the tool paths off at the moment and what we'll do is just run the simulation so all of these are different operations here you can see them down here so if we just uh, speed the process up what I'll do is just run the simulation see it drill the holes, drill the big holes and you can see it's engraved it that's the last bit for the engraving so if we rewind it back up rewind back up uh, if I just slow that down now and then we run the simulation you can see it now speed the process up a little bit so you can see now it's centre drilling it knows that I've also asked for centre drilling in here and in the options I've told it to run the same centre drill so in other words it's not going to drill cham chamfer drill and then come up here and chamfer drill it's going to go in with the spot drill and carry on with the spot drill so it's got the spot drill in I've told it to continue it will now spot them as well comes up and spots it changes the tool now it's doing the 6mm tool going all the way through. Once again we can uh, pause this and I might say I want to go past the, the shant up, up to the drill, get to the end of the drill and you can see it will speed it up and I'm now on the other drill. Run it through and that will be putting my drills in there and my spotting so now it's doing the engraving and it's coming over here and doing the engraving so hopefully that gives you uh, a bit more instruction how to do all feature recognition hopefully that helps you get started and uh, thank you for watching